Hello and welcome to the unit on database management. This unit consists of 20 marks and this is the part 17 of this particular unit. And in this part, we are going to discuss about some important commands in SQL. So let's get started. This is the syllabus and these are the commands that I am going to discuss in this part. See these commands, some of these commands I have already discussed here and there while discussing different concepts of SQL. But in this part, I thought that let's curate everything into a single video so that it will be easier for you all to learn it. All right. So let's get started with the first command, which is the create database command. So this command is used in SQL in order to create a new database. So what is the first step after opening SQL? The first step after opening SQL is to create a new database if it is not already created. Now, how do I create a new database? In order to create a new database, we use a command called create database command. This is the syntax, which is create database. And then we need to specify the database name as per our choice. Now, let's say I want to create a database by the name store. So the command would be create database store. So let me show it to you practically also. So this is the screen of SQL. So let's create a new database from scratch. So the command would be create database space database name. You can create database by any name that you like. Let's say I'm creating a database for a small store. So for that, let's give the name as store. So uh, what is the syntax? The syntax is create database database name i want to give the name of my database store so i have given create database store after that give a semicolon and press the enter key now if there is no database by the name store in this particular in your computer then the database will be created successfully how would you know that the database is created successfully if this command comes like query okay one row affected that means you are sure that your database is created successfully let's move ahead with the next command which is the use database command see in sql there may be many database it's not that you have only one database in sql there may be more than one databases so out of all the databases, which database you want to work with currently, you need to specify that. Now, how do I specify that? I would specify that with the help of the command use database. So after a database is created, it can be made to use by using the use database command. How do I use it? By the command, by the syntax, use database name. So out of n number of databases, present in our software, we have to specify which database we want to use. So let's say I want to use the database store which I created recently. So, after, so then I would like to give the command use store. All right. Let's say you have a database by the name uh, school which is already created. Let's say three days back and you want to work upon that database now. So you need to give use school. So in our case, the database is store. So how would I use it? How would I get in, into it? By the command use store. Give a semicolon and press the enter key. If the syntax is correct, then you will get the reply as database changed. So now whatever commands I'll be writing from now on, it would be assumed that I want it within the database store. After giving the command use store, whatever commands you will give, it will be affected on the database store itself all right now let's move ahead with the next command okay one more uh, thing we need to know that we cannot use this command use store before creating the database it's common sense right a database can only be used after it is created if i do not have any database by the name store how can i use it for using it i need to create the database first so you cannot you give any random database name without creating it. So first step is creating the database. Only after that you can use it. It's not that you need to consecutively create database and use it. If you created the database many days back, 
you can use it today also but the thing is that that database must already exist in your computer or in your server let's move ahead with the next command which is the show tables command now within a database there can be many tables if you want to see the list of tables available within a database then you need to give the command show tables so what this command does this command is used in sql in order to view the list of tables in the currently selected database now after using the database if you want to see the list of tables available in that particular uh, database what you need to do you need to give the command show tables now after you give the command show tables if there are any tables in that particular database then the list of those tables will be shown let's say in the after the after giving the command you store if i need to see whatever uh, tables are there in the store database i'll give show tables so as i press the enter key whatever tables are there in that particular database will be shown in front of me now if i give the command show tables here it will show an empty set why because i created the database just now so there is no table within this database so after creating a table only show tables will give you the list of tables available there so for showing you this command the working of this command let me create a table here we all know how to create a table uh, create table table name let's say the name of the table is stock then i need to open the first bracket and then the first column i'll create the table column wise let's say the first column is supplier id let's denote it by s id the data type is let's say int let's say next is uh, i think item name let's say i name farker since item name will be string we already discussed what farker is and then i let's say i have another uh, column called quantity and it will be integer so this is how we create a table we already know how table is created so i'm not going into the details of table creation here so now if i give the command show tables i'll see the list of tables within the database store so what is the table that i created just now stock so if i give show tables it will show tables in store stock okay so in order to view the list of tables which command is used show tables commands will be used but you should keep this in mind that you should use this command after getting within the database how to get within a database by the command use database name let's move ahead and see the next command which is describe table or desc table what this command does this command is used in sql in order to retrieve information about the structure of the table table is also known as relation now if you want to know the structure of the table structure of the table means uh, what all columns are there in the table what all constraints are there in the table is any primary key there or not so all these things you can see with the help of describe table command it provides details about the columns data types constraints and some other related information of the table now how do i see the structure of the table by the command describe table name if you do not want to write the complete word describe you may also write desc table name now if i want to see the properties of the stock table i'll write desc stock and press the enter key as i press the enter key what will happen the structure of the table will be shown structure like the column names what were the column names that i created sid t name and quantity what was the data type of sid it was int what was the data type of t name it was farker what was the data type of quantity it was integer did we give any null constraint not null constraint no so null is yes did i specify any primary key or any key here i did not therefore key is blank did i give any default value no therefore it is null are there any extra fields or extra information related to this table no because we have created a very simple table 
So if there are some additional properties, those will also be shown when you give the command DESC table name. You can also choose to write the complete name that is described. So if you write describe stock, then also you will get the same output that is the information related to the table. You will not get the data of the table. What you will get is the structure of the table. What are the properties of the table? What are the columns? What are the data types? What are the constraints? What are the keys? What are the default values? And are there any extra properties or not? So let me show you this command practically. So if I want to see the properties of this stock table, what how I'll write? I'll write DESC stock and it will show me all the properties related to the stock table so apart from this i can also use the full name that is describe if i write describe stock and press the enter key then also i'll get the same output here all right so in order to view the structure of the table which command is used desc command is used here let's move ahead and see the next command that is show databases what is show databases it is similar to show tables what show tables did it uh, allows us to view the list of tables so what will show databases do it will allow us to view the list of databases present in our computer or server so this command is used in sql in order to view the list of all the databases available in the computer or server so in a computer, there may be many databases. If you forgot what database name you gave, what you can do, you can give the command show databases and then you will see the list of the databases. After that, upon seeing the list, you may remember the name of the database and then you can use it. So in order to view the list of all the data databases available on your computer, you will give the command show databases. All right. So it does not have any particular syntax directly show databases so what it will do it will show the list of all the databases so all the databases are being shown along with that the database which we created recently that is store store databases a store database is also shown here all right so let me show it to you practically so if i give this command show databases semicolon and enter it will show me a list of all the databases available on my computer see so many databases i have so it is arranged alphabetically so along with this recently i created the database store so store database is also available for me to use so you can use these databases only which are already created all right so let's move ahead next command is drop database now we already saw drop command how drop command is used to drop a table now drop command is also used to drop a database drop means to remove a database now if you want to remove a database completely that means if you do not want a database anymore then you will use the command drop database so what it does this command is used in sql in order to remove a database from sql permanently this action is permanent and cannot be reversed so you should be very careful whether you want to really drop a database or not because once you give the command drop database database along with all the tables will be deleted immediately and you cannot reverse the action all right so you should use it with caution so what is the syntax the syntax is drop database database name so if i give drop database store then the entire contents of the database along with all the tables within the database will be deleted permanently so after that we get it like query okay two rows affected after that if i want to give use store if i want to use that database what i'll get i'll get an error like unknown database store why will i get an error because in the previous step i have already dropped it so all information regarding the database store is being removed therefore as i gave use store it is not able to recognize that database that means the database is deleted or dropped so let me show it to you practically now if i give drop 
डेटाबेस स्टोर यस क्वेरी ओके वन रो एफेक्टेड दैट मीन्स द डेटाबेस स्टोर इज डिलीटेड अलॉन्ग विद दैट द टेबल व्हिच आई क्रिएटेड ए फ्यू मिनट्स बैक व्हिच टेबल आई क्रिएटेड आई थिंक आई क्रिएटेड ए टेबल स्टॉक द स्टॉक टेबल इज आल्सो डिलीटेड देयरफॉर इट इज शोइंग क्वेरी ओके वन रो एफेक्टेड नाउ सी एज आई गिव शो डेटाबेसेस ए फ्यू मिनट्स बैक आई गॉट द स्टोर डेटाबेस इन द लिस्ट ऑफ डेटाबेसेस नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट हैपेंस इफ आई गिव द कमांड शो डेटाबेसेस अगेन now you will see all the database but let's look at s school school meet shop shubham but i'm not getting the database store why am i not getting the database store because i have already dropped the database store now if i want to use it if i by giving the command use store what i'll get is an error unknown database store because i have already dropped it in the previous step all right i hope it is clear so this is the syllabus out of the syllabus i have completed these many topics all right i hope that this session was useful i'll see you again in the next session thank you very much